on paper, there was no reason that I should have been here, but I was recruited by someone um, who was forming a new team uh, as a brand new role. And they felt that I would be hungry and they felt that I would be um, successful. And uh, we were, um, you know, for whatever reason, I mean, eight quarters in a row out of St. Louis, we were uh, number one in the world. And, um, you know, th those two years, and then I got promoted into something else. Uh, but it's always been around building community around what we do. Um, I've always enjoyed the deals where someone said, um, we've chased this for three years, you're not going to get it done. Um, mm -hmm. You know, whenever I get the, the new customer or, or whatever it is, uh, uh, there was another one that said, oh, these this customer, they like to take people to the altar, uh, but they'll never marry you type of approach. And uh, I, I, I relish those challenges because, you know, the expectations can be low. Uh, you come in and you really just have to figure out where, where is this customer? Um, you know, you and I have talked many, many times around the value that I've gotten out of social selling, using all of the tools possible at your disposal, a lot of them being LinkedIn, uh, tools like Humantic AI, uh, other tools that create and nurture relationships based on arming yourself with Intel, uh, but also helping you know, who do I reach out to? Who are the influencers? Who are the movers and shakers? And also who influences them? Because I can't control who's going to respond to me. But when I'm in the room, that's when I've got to be doing, uh, you know, the, the surveillance. I got to figure out, okay, what, what matters to these people? How can I deliver value from my unique position? Um, and then I'm very diligent. I'm very responsive, very communicative. And it's all about winning the business for them so that they see the value in what you bring to bear. Um, you know, the biggest deal I've ever closed, I walked into a scenario where I managed to get a meeting. I reached out to 100 people on LinkedIn, um, managed to get a meeting with the president uh, early on in a role. And uh, we, we sat down, I gave him a copy of my CEO's book, highlighted some passages that I felt were relevant to him and his organization. They were looking at the other guys. They were looking at competitors. Uh, they were not con you know, doing much uh, with us and they weren't even thinking about us. But where they started to think about us was because I was, I was able to articulate uh, a narrative around how we had helped other organizations very similarly and how we had a model that was unique to doing what they wanted to do. They wanted to commercialize a product and kind of build something and go to market. Now, what I couldn't control is over you know the two year sales cycle that this big deal took, um, lots of folks left. Uh, we faced a pandemic. Uh, there were seven C-level changes. Um, this president retired. But what I could control was the relationships that I created and how I was there and sought to serve and stayed at the pulse of what mattered.